Have you ever looked at rows and rows of numbers and felt confused? Statistical data can easily be taken out of context. The numbers don't speak for themselves, but they are very important. They are part of a story. When we measure impact, we need to provide data, but is it enough? What if we create stories based on the impact data to give it context and scope? Data storytelling hackathons are short events where people come together to create interesting stories in various formats. It can be any form of storytelling. GIFs, videos, drawings, presentations, or even drama. The most important element is group work. Interacting with diverse participants from different backgrounds opens new perspectives on analyzing data and communicating the stories. Make it fun and rewarding for participants by following these principles. Non-competitive, submissions are not scored. Use public data, do not expose confidential information to audiences that should not have access to it. Be inclusive, encourage participants who generally work behind the scenes to present their output. So how do you organize a storytelling hackathon? There are a few simple steps. Before the event, choose impact reporting data. It could be the latest project that the team worked on, it could be public data, or even an annual report of your organization. The next step, create teams of two, three participants and explain the task. Teams can choose the same or different sets of data. Let the fun begin. Give time for the participants to create a story reflecting the impact data. You can choose between 30 minutes to three hours, depending on the time you have available. Presentations of the stories. Let the groups present their results to everyone. And finally, feedback round. How do people like the story? Is it clear? Is it relatable? What could be improved? And that's it. These are the steps you need to follow in order to organize a data storytelling hackathon. Here are some ideas. It could be used at the end of a training or a project as an evaluation tool. Or it could be used as a way of getting perspective of your target group after the intervention. This activity is very adaptable. It could easily be done online using collaborative tools and is suitable for any groups, making sure that needed support is provided.